Adding pull to refresh to any table view in your project does not have to be difficult or take much work. We're going to look at how to do that in both cases of using the table view controller or using another subclass of just UI view controller that has a table view on it. So the first thing we'll do is we'll look at how to add the refresh control for pull to refresh to a table view controller. It's mostly built in, we just have to implement the action. Then we're going to look at a regular UI view controller subclass with a table view on it and how to add pull to refresh for that. We'll create a refresh control property, connect the action, implement that action, and then finally end refreshing. To get started, I created a new single view app in Xcode. And then I dropped a table view controller onto my storyboard. And in the attributes, I set it as the initial view controller. I also created a class called my table view controller that's a subclass of UI table view controller. I implemented the number of rows to be 50 and the cell for row at to get the cell using my identifier, setting the text label to the row number and the detail label to the date. In my storyboard, I made sure that my view controller was an instance of my table view controller and also that the cell was a right detail with the identifier my cell. So now when it runs, it displays 50 rows with the row number and the date. And now we want to implement the pull to refresh. So on the table view controller, I go to the attributes inspector, and under refreshing, I select enabled. I can give it a title like loading and center it. And that's what will be displayed when they pull to refresh. I also noticed that it creates a refresh control in my hierarchy. So I want to create an action for that. So I'm going to bring up the assistant and I'm going to control drag from the refresh control into my code. I'm going to select to create an action for that and I'll name it handle refresh. I'm going to give it the parameter type of UI refresh control so that'll be passed in. Once I connect the action to the refresh control, I should be done with the interface builder. So I'll close the assistant and go to the code. So in my table view controller, I want to implement this handle refresh. So this is where I would update my data from the server or wherever I'm loading my data from. So to simulate that, I'll create a timer. I'm going to schedule the timer for three seconds, set false so that it doesn't repeat, and in the closure that takes the timer, this is where I need to update my table as if I had gotten the data back and end refreshing on the refresh control. So I'll call self table view, reload data, and since the refresh control is passed in, I could call on the sender, end refreshing, or on the self, I also have access to the refresh control, and I can end refreshing there. So now when this runs and I pull to refresh, after three seconds, it should reload the table and end refreshing of the controller. So I'll run this in the simulator. And when it comes up, I can see that the rows are there. I can navigate around and scroll. And if I pull to refresh, I see the loading, and then in three seconds, it should go away. So that's how to add it to an existing table view controller. Now we want to look at how to add a refresh control to an existing view controller that has a table view, but isn't a table view controller. So I'm going to go back to my storyboard, and I'm going to use a view controller that has a table view on it, that already has its connection set up for the data source and delegate to be my view controller, and an outlet in the view controller for the table view. I'll make this now the initial view controller. So we need to add a refresh control to this table view, and we'll do it in the code. So this view controller is an instance of view controller, which I already have in my code from the template that I used. There's the outlet to the table view, and I can claim to implement the UI data source and delegate. So I'll need to implement the number of rows and the cell for row at. So for number of rows, 
I'll return 50. And cell for row at, I'll have to DQ a cell. So let cell equal to table view, DQ, with the identifier my cell, and I'll have to set that in the interface builder, and return the cell. So in interface builder, I did have to do one more thing. I have to put the prototype cell, write detail, and the cell identifier of my cell. And I'll copy that to make sure I typed it correctly. Then I'll do the same thing I did before in the my table view controller. So now it should be the same except for the refresh control. And now we'll add that. I'm going to add it as a property so that we can have access to it anywhere in our code. And I'm going to go ahead and instantiate it here, although I could do this in the view did load or somewhere else. Then in the view did load, I could set the title, any other attributes that I want, and add it to the table view. So I'll say table view, refresh control, equal my refresh control. But I also have to set the action. So I'll say my refresh control, add target, self, the selector for refreshing, and I'll call it handle refresh like I did before. And for the events, I'll call it for the event value changed. Now I have to, I have to actually implement the handle refresh. And it'll be the same as the refresh for my table view control. So I'll copy the timer out of that one, paste it in here. We need to make sure if we're exposing this selector that we specify the function has the Objective-C designation. And in the closure, we need to specify self for my refresh control. So now if I run it, it should use the view controller instead of the table view controller and look pretty much similar except for not having the loading text. And after three seconds, it goes away. So we looked at how to add a refresh control to a table view controller using Interface Builder, and then implementing that action in the code, including reloading the table and ending refreshing. Then we looked at how to add a refresh control to a UI view controller subclass that has a table view dropped on it. We added the refresh control as a property, connected it to an action through add target, implemented that action, and also reloaded the table and ended refreshing. We hope that was helpful, and we'd love to hear any feedback or comments you might have. Thanks a lot.